Hi and welcome to Jokkmokk today. It's a windy day and I thought I would go to show you the kennel setup and how the dogs live. We get quite a lot of questions about the kennels and so on. So yeah, I thought I would go show you that today. For you who don't know who we are, I'm Stina and me and my partner Matti run this kennel together and we have in total 50 dogs. It's uh, 48 Siberian Huskies and two Border Collies. In winter we bring people out on dog sled trips, mostly longer adventures over several days but we also do some short tours. The dogs means a lot to us, they are our family and they take a huge spot in our hearts. Uh, we spend 365 days per year with them and we really try to give them the best life as possible. I had just had out all the dogs out here in the playground to run around and while they were out playing I had picked up the poop and given them some water and of course they got some cuddling too. Uh, right now I just have some females out in the playground because we have a few in heat so we have to separate them when they're out loose so we don't get any accidental breedings. Today I thought I was going to show you how our dogs live, how the kennels is set up and the dog houses and so on. We get quite a few questions about the kennels and and so on, so I thought it was a good idea and also want to show you how a kennel could look like uh, here in Sweden. We have in total 24 kennels, uh, 22 of them are connected to each other and then we have two kennels out here in the playground separated from the other ones. In 22 of the kennels we have a wooden floor except for the two out in the playground where it's uh, just a gravel ground and we choose to build with wooden floors because for some year or before we had some gravel ground in the, um, all the kennels and we got some problem with the kennel club ladies uh, that comes and control the kennels in Sweden which is good but um, they didn't like that uh, there were sometimes water puddles in the play in their kennels. Uh, the dogs were digging around and of course then it gets some holes and when it rains they get some water in the holes. So we built the wooden floors to please the ladies actually. Uh, I don't think we were super happy about the wooden floors in the beginning ourselves but uh, now we think it's quite good. The optimal would be to have like half of kennel wooden floor and half a bit so they could uh, dig around. But we have the big playground where the dogs can can uh, go digging and we let them out in the playground two times a day so they can dig as much as they want there. And uh, we built with uh, a wood floor of uh, impregnated wood uh, and there are both pro and cons with the wooden floor. One pro is that it's very easy to keep clean if the dog have a bad stomach or so on we can easily flush it with a water hose and uh, uh, one bad thing with it is that the dogs can't dig. So another negative thing is that it's get pretty warm on the floor on summertime. If it's very sunny it can get quite hot on the floor. I, it seems like the, I bother more about these hot floors than the dogs do because they choose to stay in the middle of the sun even if they have shadow to sleep in and we also put up some sun sails in summertime to protect to get them even more shadow on the floors. 
In different countries it's different regulations about how to keep uh, dogs. In Sweden you are for example not allowed to have dogs chained to a dog house like in the US for example. In Sweden we need to have um, uh, kennels and it's also, re also regulated how big they should be depending on how big the dogs are. And the same with the dog houses, the regulations of how big the dog houses should be. And it's also uh, in law that they have to be have to be insulated. In each kennel, there is a dog house, and uh, the dog house design is made by us. And uh, we thought this was a good idea that the dogs could have like an upper floor. Uh, where they can lay in shadow and just having a high spot to lay on because dogs like that and then the bottom floor is uh, insulated uh, and inside we have wood straw and um, yeah it's uh, made for two dogs in each but they usually room four dogs uh, in Sweden there are regulations about how big a doghouse should be and the doghouse size is as always for one dog but our dogs like to stay uh, together in the doghouses so we built a bigger doghouse so they can stay together and I think it's also better because they then they could keep the warm together and so on bottom floor of the doghouse are insulated with isopore, I think it's called. It's five centimeter thick uh, boards of insulation. I think it's called isopore. <laughs> you have to correct me if it's wrong. And uh, both the floor, walls and the uh, roof in the bottom part is uh, insulated. When you're gonna clean inside the doghouse in uh, almost all dog houses I have seen before you take up the roof to clean them out and uh, that's really hard work for especially for your back when you're gonna clean dog houses so uh, we came up with the idea to have an um, that we could take up the front of the dog house and then you can take out the front and easily just scrape out and sweep out the tree wall uh, when you want to clean. And we always see so the dogs live together with someone they like. You can now most of our dogs agree with each other but some they are more comfortable together with than others. So we are always very careful to put them with someone they really like and feel safe with. They should never go around and, and feel tense. Here we have oh. Nelson and uh, Mikke and they like each other very much. Quite young dogs and they're playing a lot. Then we don't need to separate them. Uh, they can always stay together. We also have some females that stay together and like each other so that's good. Yeah as I said before uh, we had from the beginning when I moved here to Matti he had kennels with the gravel ground and we had that for some years and uh, then we decided to uh, make new kennels and uh, I think we started to build these kennels in 2006 I think it was and it was me and my dad who is now passed away who built them and it took three summers to build them and then I b built the dog houses by myself I think it, think it took two summers <laughs> then you may wonder why our kennel are, or all the kennels are in different levels. They, um, it's because we have very rocky ground here. It's actually like a, a very big stones underneath that you can't move, but I think it looks more nice. It doesn't look so industrial as many other kennels do. So 
uh, each summer there are maintenance work of the kennel of course and uh, we can go into this one here is uh, we don't have any dogs living here right at the moment because I am I have just fixed the floor and uh, yeah we clean the kennels of course and then also now like now I have changed some uh, boards on the floor because the dogs had digged and uh, with their claws they have uh, managed to make some holes in some of the wood planks and I also wash the floor and then I'm gonna oil it so uh, uh, until it's oiled and properly dry no dogs are gonna live in here we also made uh, had an idea that you need to clean under the kennel sometimes so what we did is that we built um, like uh, hatches <laughs> uh, hatches in the kennel so there's one hatch you can open under here on, under the dog house then you have to move the dog house so we almost never use that one but it's enough with this one we have in front then you can lift up here so and pull it up and then you can clean underneath it's good to rake out underneath the canal sometimes don't need to do that every year but it's you're surprised how much uh, hair and straw that collects under the dog houses so it's good idea to do that once in a while with some years in between we have people uh, coming to this kennel who has been in kennels before and they say that the kennels they have visited before has been smelly that they stink of a bit of ammoniac and, and shit and I think one reason our kennels doesn't do that is both that we keep them very clean we pick up shit twice a day and we can flush them with water but I also think a big thing is actually that we can open up the floor and clean underneath because if you if you have a lot of old dog hair and straw and it gets pee on that it collects the smell so yeah I think that is one reason why it doesn't smell here um, then we have the big playground and as I said before the dogs are out here twice a day when we clean out the kennels in the morning and in the evening and then we let all the dogs loose except for like now when uh, we have some females in heat we have to divide them in in two groups hey Clara this is Clara hey Clara yeah. and her roommate Betan yeah they hang around together most of the time they really like each other so Hey, Ida. This is Ida. <laughs> Ida. Yeah. So yeah, big playground. It's really good in uh, like in summer when it's too hot to train them. They can still be out here and stretch their legs and run around and get some kind of exercise even if it's too hot. So and it's. Uh, natural ground here so sticks and rocks and trees and and the dogs can do whatever they like out here they really like to dig or shoot on sticks ground and we never leave the dogs in the playground alone there's always one of us here when they are out so we keep control because here they could actually dig out if they would and uh, also need to keep an eye on them because I think if you have like 50 dogs out loose together and the leader that will say me and Matti are not here then could also be some fights and argues and that we don't allow here. Uh, I hope we got a little bit better insight of how our dogs live. Uh, <laughs> We love them very much and want them to have the best life that we can give them, of course. And now it's time to put these <laughs> girls inside their kennels. <laughs> and I will go in and have some lunch. And it's 
it starts to rain and it's pretty cold it's uh, only a few plus degrees today so yeah that's springtime not summer yet so yeah keep an eye on the channel and we will keep on posting outdoor videos from our adventures both with the dogs and without and now in summer it will be hiking and canoeing and so on uh, but i will also be keeping you updated on the dogs uh, so until next time take care bye